Bum, 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 bum. 100 subscribers! Hey guys, Malak here, and I just want to thank you all for making uh, this possible, for helping out so much with the channel, and if you're subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. I just obviously just surpassed 100 subscribers, and I promised that I would do a tradition for each of my like subscriber milestones that I would uh, get a deep dish pizza and uh, blow out some candles. So you can look forward to that every time <laughs> the channel grows. Uh, I just want to thank some people in this video, and I don't really do update videos or powwows or little chats like this very often, so it'll probably mostly be around subscriber milestones. I forgot I wanted to uh, wear this hat. Um, I wanted to thank some people before I uh, continue. I really want to thank my immediate family and my extended family. They're either really supportive or they just really tolerate me, which is awesome because I know some people don't have that privilege, so I'm really thankful to my family. You might have noticed that I've started putting like producer credits in the end of my videos. I don't have any patrons, like I just got a Patreon, and you can check that out, the link is in the description. But I have added some like honorary members to that because they really help me continually and also from the start. Uh, there's Amanda and Cowman. Uh, thank you guys. You're always really supportive. It's always really nice to hang out with you guys. It's super cool how Amanda's always there to just like my art. So some of you might have seen if you follow on social media that um, there's a little bit of a setback. I just ordered two kind of expensive condenser microphones. They were XLR too, so if you don't know about sound, you may not understand, but those are slightly better microphones. Like I didn't get like super, super great ones because I'm still not that big, but I wanted to have something nice because I wanted to start kind of a podcast thing. That package never got to my hands and supposedly it was delivered to my doorstep, which means it might have been stolen. It's starting to look like that. I'm going to email Guitar Center and see what we can do and try and talk to UPS. Yeah, the landlord is like, well, there's nothing I can do, which I kind of get, but it, it just sucks. But Amanda was right there and she was like, hey, you like, sir, let me know how it goes. Try and get things sorted out, contact these people. Uh, my dad also called me up right after that happened and was just like, hey, you need to not let this go. And I'm just really grateful that people are kind of watching out for me, which is nice. Uh, Brandon Eldridge, who made my first mural, murals possible and was always very creative and super supportive. He also, he Venmoed me some cash right away right after he heard that and he's always super supportive and also really encouraging. He's just an encouraging person to be around. He's one of those people that makes it feel like you can do things even if you have some doubts about yourself, which is awesome. Andrew Coons is in there because uh, Andrew is also always really supportive. <laughs> we were in this kind of like gloomy town during Christmas in Italy and we like tried to have fun and like make the best of it and he's super creative. Uh, we made a ton of videos together. I might actually post some of those, especially Ted the Head. Ted the Head for Halloween. Uh, we just had a lot of fun. He is super creative and I don't know, I just enjoyed making videos with him. And also four years ago, I knew I wanted to do this, but at that point I didn't have a job. I hadn't really started college. And I didn't know anything about crowdfunding, so I set up a GoFundMe when I probably should have started a, a Kickstarter. And uh, Coons, uh, Andrew was the only person to uh, donate to that. And so he is an executive executive producer. And I also want to thank Serena. Basically, all of this is possible because of Serena. Uh, the bigger space that I'm living in, like I, my old apartment, our old apartment, used to literally be like one room and it was really hard to do anything in that apartment space and now we have like a few rooms and so it makes a lot of things more possible art I was able to buy a desk if you've noticed that a lot of my videos are on top of the desk the only reason I have room for a desk is because of Serena she helps so much uh, not just with money obviously but also uh, she's really helps with, kind of helps me stay more stable uh, in terms of some things. Like, I, uh, ever since I've been getting more views and a little bit more attention, there have been some comments and messages, not just on YouTube, but also some of the other social media where I like promote things. 
that are really nasty or kind of ignorant or uninformed. And some of those I would like, I'd get either like sad or discouraged or mad. And Serena was always super practical and just like, hey, you need to not pay attention to that. Don't respond, don't react. It'll just make things worse. She would sometimes answer very logically. Well, they're obviously wrong. They don't know what they're talking about. Just ignore it. And that stuff really helps because uh, <laughs> it's weird because it's not something I, I've ever experienced. I was kind of a, a little butt in middle school. I think just about everyone is. But I was also bullied in middle school. Some of it I probably kind of deserved, but it sucked. Uh, but I kind of got used to it and it was just like, okay, so this is part of, this is going to be part of my experience, but I've never really had that on social media. I've never experienced the whole like cyberbullying or trolling thing directed very personally at me. So that was kind of hard to get used to, but she really helps with that. And I'm super grateful for that. If I have forgotten to mention an executive executive producer, I'll probably give you a shout out in another one. I'm sorry. I don't have a note card or anything. So I'm just going from the top of my head for this video, just talking with you. Now I want to just talk about some of the things I want to do in the future for this channel and also kind of explain how the channel works just in case you ever get lost and you're like, wow, he's doing a lot of different things right now. So some of the things I want to do more of, I'm trying to start an art podcast and I got a lot of big goals for that. I want to interview some very specific people and I've got a list, but I need to have like proof of concept. And also my university always has artists who are pretty cool come and speak and I want to get the opportunity to interview them so I need to show the Dean of my university that I can have a really good podcast and I want it to be informative but I also want it to be a little bit more personal as you can tell I like the Gus and Eddie podcast and they interview they've interviewed Hoodie Allen who's a musician but they mostly do a lot of YouTube creatives and I want to interview some creatives in the gaming industry and in the art industry maybe even the music and film but mostly art and gaming is what I'm primarily interested in uh, doing the podcast on and so I'm trying to get that started hopefully I can I have all of the other equipment like the baseline that I needed besides the microphones now which is yeah, not that important but kind of important <laughs> it's crucial um, so hopefully I can get that sorted out so I can start doing that so I can start interviewing more and more people and also like show my ability and eventually maybe do a real Kickstarter for that so I can get some equipment that is that's worthy of the people who I'm interviewing because I want to interview a lot of uh, amazing people. Uh, one of the people I really want to interview is Chris Guest. We'll see if I can pull it off. I've talked to him before because I was asking to see his catalog for the tattoo convention and I'm hoping I could organize an interview with him because I might be going on a trip to London if my application gets approved by the university. <laughs> so fingers crossed guys, send me the good vibes or thoughts and prayers, baby, or whatever it is you guys send. Because uh, I would really love to do that. And I want to be ready at that point to uh, interview someone like that because he makes incredible art. I also am going to be doing a lot of Pokemon card unboxing and also I'm going to try to build a deck and maybe go to tournaments and play because I've always kind of wanted to play the actual card game, but I never have. So I'm going to try and get into it and see how it goes. I also want to do a little bit more about movies and gaming like in terms of reviews and also lists like things you should check out or the best of. You probably have noticed that I have some new sections. I have draw, which is Basically, me just drawing, doing some of my anatomy studies. I'm going to be trying to learn how to freestyle figure draw, kind of like Kim Jong Gi does. I want to improve that because I'm going to be releasing an art book at some point in the near future with my illustrations. You can check out my art Instagram. It's in the description. And I want to be able to sign people's books with something cool. So I'm going to be practicing that. You guys have seen the open section. Open is where I open up mostly art books. There'll probably be some design books and concept art books thrown in there. And the play series is me doing Let's Plays. I've been doing some comedy sketches and they're really hard to edit together. They take a lot more time to plan, to execute, and to edit. So I don't have as many of those, but I'm gonna create a section for that. Right now I'm thinking of calling it Yabu Bay. I'm still trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so I'm going to be giving away the Amazon gift card. I'm gonna do like a giveaway celebration thing once I get to a thousand, so. Stick around because I also want to like give back to the community and do cool things like the people who follow me. I also eventually want to do charity events and things. I saw Jacksepticeye do one of those and it was really cool. I mean, obviously I would not be able to earn as much as those guys, but 
Maybe at some point as we get some more momentum, do one of those because I think it's always nice to kind of <laughs> do something sort of meaningful. I, I'd have to be careful about the organizations though because I've been learning more and more and learning about some of the corruption that happened in the Red Cross with the Haiti earthquakes and it's just, it's just hard sometimes to do something nice without someone screwing it up. So at some point in the future, I wanna attempt to pull that off, do something nice too. I'm probably forgetting a lot of things, but that's okay. Hopefully we hit a thousand subscribers kind of soon and I can give you guys another big update and kind of explain more about the sections on the channel because I'm probably forgetting one of my sections or something. Maybe next time I'll write a script for the, <laughs> for the celebration video with the, with the pizza. Yeah, please check out the Patreon, help me make my goals because I think it'll make some other cool opportunities on the channel. Like one of my goals is as soon as I get to a certain point, I'm gonna open a PO box so people can start sending in uh, art books, they can send in their own art, they can send in maybe shirts that they want me to wear during videos, Pokemon packs, and also I'll be maybe making an Amazon wish list or something like that so people have a way to send in things they want to see on the channel and also get shout outs or maybe have you know their logo or their art on my shirt or something like that. So please help us get to that point because it would be so cool. Hopefully I'll be able to add more and more benefits as I grow and I can maybe start even sending out prints to people. But for right now, I've got my Patreon set up and those are the benefits that are in those specific tiers and maybe, 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 maybe be a little Patreon, be a little soul boy, soul girl. Thanks guys for watching the video. Thanks for supporting me through all my weird stuff and for just being along for the ride. If you aren't subscribed, maybe please subscribe so we can Get more deep dish pizza. Take care. <laughs>